What's up everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're talking about the secrets to passing the civil FE exam. So you're going to want to hear about it. So hang around and uh, let's talk about the secrets to passing. So stick around. All right, guys, so let's talk about the secret. Secret number one. The first secret is to review just what you need to pass. So if you actually take a look through the NCES specifications, you can find out and you can go through and highlight which topics are actually the most common questions that are asked. They tell you how many questions are gonna be with each particular topic. If you go and highlight which ones are mostly asked, those are the ones that you need to put your, uh, you know, you need to start studying, you need to put your head into, start figuring those questions out because that's where the majority of the exam is. If you're struggling with something like surveying or something where there's not as many questions, you might not even need to know that many problems or even that entire subject. You could probably just brush up on it as you're studying uh, practice problems. So don't put a lot of weight into those uh, areas where there are few problems asked. Focus most of your efforts on the problems uh, that are mainly asked. So, and you can find that right on the NCES specifications, like I said. So make sure you are reviewing that and checking that out. All right, secret number two is, what's secret number two? Secret number two is mindset. So what do I mean by mindset? What I mean by mindset is that you got to commit to taking this exam. Don't backtrack on thinking that you can't do this. You can do this. Going in and starting to study and prepare with confidence uh, will definitely help you as you're taking the exam. And when, it times to, when it's time to actually take the exam, just sit down and take it like it's a practice exam or something. But the thing is, is that you need to commit to taking it. Don't keep bumping the date. If you sit down and you register at NCES for the exam date that you're gonna take, stick with it. Uh, don't keep bumping it because you know what? We are all humans and when we have a deadline to meet, we actually start ramping up our efforts as we get closer to that deadline. It's just natural for everybody to do that. I know you're procrastinating. Uh, we all do that. So don't keep bumping the date. So that is secret number two is get in the right mindset. Feel confident that you can do this and you will put in the time to do it. And don't keep bumping those dates. So stick to it and commit yourself to doing this. All right, guys, secret number three. Uh, secret number three is that you should have a lot of some basic stuff memorized just so it's quicker for you to bust through problems. And what I mean by basic stuff is that I mean you need to know units, unit conversions, feet to inches, cubic feet to cubic yards, uh, gallons to cubic feet, uh, unit weight of water, uh, acceleration of gravity, all that kind of stuff should be top of mind stuff that you should uh, you know have up there if it's been a while you know you'll pick up those things as you study problems and it will just become second nature as you're studying them uh, but you know one of the secrets here is that sometimes that FE manual that you get does not have uh, every single thing that you need to know now all a lot of the units are in there obviously but it's just gonna take time extra time to get through there and find those so secret number three is to memorize and make sure you know the units because you will be using them quite a bit all right secret number four woo, woo, woo. Uh, secret number four is basically that you need to know your calculator really really well Go to NCES and figure out what the approved calculators are. Commit to using one. If you're still in school, start using the calculator that you've selected for all of your homework so that you know the ins and outs of that baby. I mean, this thing should be your go-to calculator for every problem that you solve. And the reason for that is because when you start learning the ins and outs of using that approved NCES calculator, then when you actually go and take the exam, you can use that to save a ton of time. Uh, all your statics questions, all of those can be done in your calculator. So why not learn how to do that in your calculator so you can just punch it in, blow through those problems, no problem, instead of having to look through the manual, figure out how to do it again, and solve it all by hand. It's just gonna save you a lot of time, and I think that's a huge key on this exam, is time, which gets us to another secret, but uh, that covers our secret number four. 
All right, secret number five. So secret number five is basically time management. You know that time is a huge deal on the exam. You're, you have 110 questions, and um, with the amount of time that they give you to take the exam, it works out to be about three minutes per problem when it's all said and done. Um, obviously, uh, it is broken up into two parts, and that first half is typically more general type questions and they're going to be i think i think a little bit easier than the afternoon and, and, and they may not be more difficult in the afternoon it's just they're more specific to disciplines so concrete structures geotech transportation that kind of stuff and so being able to manage your time effectively is is a big key to the exam so one of the tools that they give you on the exam is being able to flag a problem and so how do how do you utilize that as a tool when you're taking the exam so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through the exam if you find that it's gonna if it's a question you absolutely do not know i would just go ahead and flag that baby and know that in your head you're going to come back and check out those flag problems right it does not hurt to flag a question you do not know and just skip it and come back to it. If it's a question you're a little bit iffy on, I would go ahead and try to solve it. Um, give it your best shot and go ahead and plug in a, an answer there. But you could also flag that to remind yourself to at least review it. But the ones that you t definitely don't understand or you know it's going to take a while, I'd go ahead and flag those and definitely come back to them later. So this is all part of um, time management and um, using the tools that they're providing you. So flagging is definitely one of those tools. You don't want to forget that you've had flag problems, but you're, you're going to go back and you're going to review those that you do flag. And so you can solve those later on. So um, use that as a tool as you're taking the exam, but understand that you have about three minutes per problem. They're not going to ask you crazy difficult. So these are things that should only take about three minutes per problem problem and now some might take more than that some might take less than that if you're getting a lot of conceptual questions which happens uh, quite a bit um, is that if you're getting conceptual questions the beauty of those is that that you know they're quicker to solve but they're also they could be easier to miss if you're not if you don't understand what they're asking so anyway that is your tip time management and understanding how to flag questions and using that to your advantage All right, guys, the last tip that I have for you is tip number six. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, tip number six. So tip number six is going to be um, a tool that we have actually created. I created. I created with my brother. This is your own secret weapon. This is a program that we created. Um, it's called the Ultimate Civil FE Review Course. So a lot of people, whether you're in school, which usually provides a free crappy course, or if you're out of school, you know, you need to dust the cobwebs off if you're working and get back into study mode. Well, the course we created is everything that you need to pass the civil FE exam. It, there's no extra filler. There's no ambiguity. It doesn't provide you more or less than just what you need to pass the civil FE exam. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So uh, this is your secret weapon and something I want to tell you about uh, that you can definitely go check out. So if you go to civilfereviewcourse.com, you can go check this out. We've built 18 modules that basically cover the exam exact NCES specifications. So we're taking exactly what they have there and we're giving you lecture modules that have been created by myself and my brother Mark Okison, who's also a practicing civil engineer. And so you're learning from guys that have been there and done that and in the trenches with you. So we're happy to provide those modules. You also get tons of video practice problems. The beauty of these things is that you can watch them if you have no idea how to solve them, or you can print them off and solve them on your own and then come back and see how we do it. Any way you wanna hack it or do it, that's up to you. Everything is on demand, so you can come and check it out whenever you want to. So if you're on the bus, um, you know, sitting on the jaunt, I don't know, wherever you're gonna study, 
it's available to you as long as you have an internet connection. So that's a beautiful thing. The other things we provide to you are awesome support. We have a private Facebook group that we will give support to you on, whether it's from other community members or just us jumping on and helping you. We're going to be there to help you, or you can shoot us emails. We're happy to help that way too. Uh, you also get practice exams as part of the course. We've developed two of those for you. And um, so there's some good, good stuff in there. So all of these things are part of the course. Um, like I said, it's on demand, so you can go through it as fast or as slow as you want. And it's a really killer deal. You can either get month to month access if you just want it for a month, uh, or if you feel like you need a little more study time, there's uh, other options for you. So go check it out. The link we will provide in the description of this video. And we think that is the ultimate secret weapon that will help you the ultimate civil FE review course. So definitely go check that out. All right, guys, that's going to do it. So those are my secrets to passing the civil FE exam. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have any other tips or tools that you think would help other civil engineers pass the civil FE exam? Let us know in the comments. I think others would love to know that. But hopefully this video helped you or opened your eyes to a few things that are out there uh, and, you know, just helpful tips that will help you pass the FE exam. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. What's up, everybody? Isaac Okuson here with Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're talking to you about the secrets to passing the FE exam. So stick around. Let's get through this. You'll want to hang around as we discuss the secrets that, hey, everyone wants to know a secret. What's up, everybody? <laughs>